humans have never been satisfied with the land beneath their feet. Every year, skyscrapers continue to break new records, and the ranking of the tallest buildings in the world keeps changing. As of today, let's look at the world's top 10 tallest completed skyscrapers. Number 10, Taipei 101. Taipei 101 officially opened on December 31, 2004 in Taipei, Taiwan, with a height of 508 meters or 1,667 feet and 101 floors. It was the tallest building in the world at the time and the first skyscraper to surpass half a kilometer until it was overtaken by Dubai's Burj Khalifa in 2009. Taipei 101 is famous not only for its height, its elevators once set a record, carrying passengers from the 5th to the 89th floor in just 37 seconds. In 2011, it received a LEED Platinum certification, becoming the tallest green building in the world. Its exterior design mimics bamboo, symbolizing growth, while inside hangs a 660-ton tuned mass damper to withstand earthquakes and typhoons. The tower frequently appears in international media, especially during New Year's Eve fireworks, when it transforms into a giant lantern lighting up the city. In 2019, it was named one of the 50 most influential skyscrapers in the world. Even though it is no longer number one, Taipei 101 remains Taiwan's most recognizable landmark. Number 9. Siddiq Tower, China Zun. Siddiq Tower was completed in 2018 in Beijing, China, standing 528 meters, or 1,732 feet, with 109 floors. It is the tallest building in Beijing and its design was inspired by an ancient bronze ritual vessel known as a Zun. Construction began in 2011, the tower topped out in 2017, and by 2018, it was the tallest building completed that year worldwide. Its elegant curves make the tower look like a vessel narrowing at the waist, a mix of tradition and modern strength. But it also sparked controversy. In 2018, reports claimed that the top three floors, including the observation deck, were taken over by state security because they offered a direct view of Zhang Nanai, a Chinese leadership compound. What was supposed to be the peak of Beijing for the public became, in many ways, a restricted zone of power. With official height limits now capping new projects at just 180 meters, Siddiq Tower is likely to remain Beijing's tallest building for a long time. Number 8. Guangzhou CTF Finance Center and Tianjin CTF Finance Center both towers reach 530 meters, or 1,739 feet, and therefore share eighth place among the world's tallest. Guangzhou CTF Finance Center Completed in 2016 in Guangzhou, China, it has 111 floors. Known as the East Tower, it stands opposite the West Tower, together forming Guangzhou's most iconic twin skyscrapers. It is a massive mixed-use complex, a shopping mall at the base, offices in the middle, with apartments and a hotel occupying the upper levels. Its elevators can reach speeds of 20 meters per second, ranking among the fastest in the world. The building's form changes with its functions. Offices require larger floor plates, while the residential and hotel levels gradually taper, creating distinctive setbacks. As Guangzhou's tallest tower, it is both the financial hub of the city and its most visible landmark on the global stage. Tianjin CTF Finance Center, completed in 2019 in Tianjin, China, with 97 floors. Unlike its twin in Guangzhou, this tower looks like a flowing wave, a curving glass facade combined with eight massive sloping columns, making the building shimmer like crystal. The aerodynamic shape was designed to reduce vortex shedding and wind resonance, while the mega columns strengthen its resistance to seismic forces. In 2021, it received the Structural Award for Tall and Slender Structures. At night, the crown of the tower glows like a diamond, dominating the skyline of Tunjin's Binhai New Area. Number 7. One World Trade Center Completed in 2014 in Lower Manhattan, New York City. With a height of 541 meters, or 1,776 feet, and 94 floors. It is the tallest building in the United States, and the tallest in the Western Hemisphere. The number 1,776 is deliberate, symbolizing the year of American independence. 
A site itself carries deep meaning. It is where the original twin towers stood before the attacks of September 11, 2001. Rebuilt as both an office tower and a memorial, One World Trade Center has become a symbol of resilience. The building primarily serves as office space, but also includes dining and observation areas. The One World Observatory opened in 2015, offering sweeping views of New York Harbor and the Statue of Liberty. During its construction, the tower frequently made headlines. In 2012, it surpassed the Empire State Building in height, reclaiming the title of New York's tallest. In 2013, its spire was installed, bringing the total height to 1,776 feet. Since then, it has stood not just as the physical peak of New York, but as a monument to rebirth. Number 6. Lot World Tower Completed in 2017 in Seoul, South Korea, rising 555 meters or 1,819 feet with 123 floors. It was the first building in Korea to exceed 100 floors and remains the tallest in the country. Inside is a vertical city, a shopping mall at the base, offices and residences in the middle, and a luxury hotel near the top. The observation deck features a glass floor, allowing visitors to look straight down hundreds of meters over the Han River. A true test of nerve, but controversy has followed this tower from the start. Construction accidents raised safety concerns, and in 2014, a water leak in the aquarium at the base led to a five-month closure of its mall and cinema. The tower has also attracted thrill-seekers. In 2016, two climbers scaled its cranes before completion. In 2023, a British free climber attempted to scale the building without ropes, only to be stopped at the 72nd floor. Despite these incidents, Lot World Tower remains a proud symbol of modern Seoul, visible from across the city. Number 5 Ping In Finance Center Completed in 2017 in Shenzhen, China, at 599 meters or 1,965 feet with 115 floors. It is Shenzhen's tallest building and the second tallest in China. Designed by Cohn Pedersen Fox, it serves as headquarters for Ping and Insurance. Its stainless steel facade weighs nearly 1,700 tons and gleams like a sword pointing skyward. The building includes offices, a conference center, a shopping mall, and a hotel. On the 116th floor, the Free Sky Observation Deck sits 562 meters above ground, once holding the record as the world's highest observation platform inside a building. The tower has also been a hotspot for daredevils. In 2015, a Malaysian photographer climbed to its cranes during construction, posting viral footage. Soon after, Russian and Ukrainian urban explorers repeated the stunt, cementing its reputation as a magnet for thrill-seekers. As Shenzhen's financial landmark, it embodies the city's rapid rise from fishing village to global hub. Number 4. Maka Royal Clock Tower Completed in 2012 in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, reaching 601 meters or 1,972 feet with 120 floors. It is the centerpiece of the Abraj al Bayt complex, located directly beside the Grand Mosque. Its clock faces, 43 meters across, are the largest in the world and visible from 25 kilometers away. Inside are prayer halls for 10,000 people, hotels, and facilities to host millions of pilgrims each year. The entire complex cost about $15 billion, making it the second most expensive building in the world. But its construction was controversial. It replaced the 18th century Asyad Fortress, demolished to make way for the project, a decision criticized by heritage groups for erasing part of Mecca's history. At night, the tower's golden crescent is illuminated, crowning the skyline of the holy city. Number 3. Shanghai Tower Completed in 2015 in Shanghai, China, with a height of 632 meters, or 2,073 feet, and 128 floors. It is the tallest building in China and the third tallest in the world. Designed by Gensler, the tower spirals upward like a twisting dragon. The design isn't just aesthetic. Its aerodynamic shape reduces wind load by about 24%. Shanghai Tower is a full-scale complex. Offices, hotels, conference halls, retail, and observation decks. 
the observation deck on the 118th floor, at 561 meters, is one of the highest indoor viewing platforms in the world. Its elevators once held the record as the fastest, reaching 20.5 meters per second. Together with Jin Mao Tower and the Shanghai World Financial Center, it forms the only cluster of three super tall skyscrapers standing side by side in the world. Although criticized early on for high vacancy rates, it has since become a hub for global companies in finance. Number 2. Merdeka 118. Completed in 2023 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, standing 679 meters or 2,227 feet with 118 floors. It is Southeast Asia's tallest building and the second tallest in the world. The word Merdeka means independence in Malay, located beside Merdeka Stadium, where Malaysia declared independence in 1957. The tower's design was inspired by the raising of the national flag. Inside are offices, a luxury hotel, residences and retail spaces, along with Southeast Asia's highest observation deck. A controversy has surrounded the project. Funded at over $5 billion by the state-owned PNB, critics argued that the money could have been better spent on education or healthcare. The building has also been targeted by rooftop trespassers, raising concerns about security. Still, Merdeka 118 has reshaped Kuala Lumpur's skyline. At night, its spire lights up like a spear piercing the sky, becoming a new symbol of Malaysia. Number 1. Burj Khalifa The Burj Khalifa topped out in 2009 and officially opened in 2010. Located in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, it soars to 828 meters, or 2,717 feet, with 163 floors. It has remained the world's tallest building ever since. Designed by Sam, its three-winged plan draws from Islamic architecture and desert flowers, helping the structure resist Dubai's high winds. It is a city within a tower. Offices, apartments, hotels, restaurants, and observation decks. The At The Top SKY Observatory on the 148th floor at 555 meters is among the highest in the world but its construction raised criticisms, particularly over the treatment of migrant workers in harsh conditions. Dubai also relied on Abu Dhabi's financial support to complete the project, and the tower was renamed Burj Khalifa to honor Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed. Despite the controversies, it remains a milestone in human engineering. For 15 years, no building has come close to its record height. These are the 10 tallest completed skyscrapers in the world as of 2025, they span Asia, the Middle East, and North America, representing the cutting edge of modern architecture and engineering. With new megatall projects under construction, this ranking will continue to change in the years ahead. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.